In safety matters this morning, a temporary fence will be installed at the Kuichi Gorge with hope of reducing future suicides. Valley News reported the chain linked fence will be nine feet high and curved at the top to limit someone from climbing. First responders pulled a man's body from the gorge yesterday, making it the fourth death since January. According to the article, the fence will be installed by the end of summer. Federal, state, and local leaders are working on a more permanent fix. In this morning's Crime Watch report, the Burlington Police Department announces two separate arrests in connection to several burglaries in the area of the Queen City. They were reported in June and this month of this year. 36-year-old Roberto Gines Reyes of South Burlington has been arraigned and released on conditions. 29-year-old Martin Magnuson is currently in jail. The investigations into the burglaries are ongoing, but the two are not believed to have worked together. New information this morning on the Orleans man accused of shooting and killing his wife back in May. Randall Swartz appeared in federal court in Burlington yesterday afternoon and pleaded not guilty to separate charges stemming from 11 counts of mail fraud. Court documents revealed Swartz worked as a maintenance manager for Agrimark, a cheese making plant in Cabot. He is accused of ordering equipment the company didn't need and using it for his own benefit. He's being held in federal custody until his trial. Well, after a year